Hello, living in Boulder, vlog for the 16th of September, um, 2019, Monday, right, right now it's like 10.30, my computer's restarting right now, it kept crashing, the Dreamweaver kept crashing over and over again, and then the last time it crashed, it didn't recover, it, it almost always recovers, but sometimes it doesn't recover when it crashes. And it didn't recover, so and it was crashing like so much, like half a dozen times in the last hour, or it seems like. So I just restarted the computer to hopefully start stop doing that. But um, so take the opportunity to do the video, vlogged it. Um, I <laughs> I already recorded it earlier today. I made it about five minutes, but then I got a call from somebody. And instead of watch the video again and to see where I was and then splice it together. I figure I'll just do the video again. Um, so I wish these phones were designed, if you're recording and you get a call, you can just decline the call and keep doing the video. But as it is, if you get a call, it just shuts your video off and you're, you're screwed. So the call always takes precedence. So, um, so uh, yesterday I was working on links from... Um, a country to country on the vertical part um, of my timeline. and uh, But then last night, I oh know, and then today I was doing it. And then I think I pretty much got done with phase one anyway. <coughs> Before I check it and fix the ones I missed. But um, so, I was, so I thought to myself, okay, fine, that's a good starting point. Because I was really feeling strong desire lately to put a couple more books on my website. I discovered that there's um, uh, the uh, Book of Enki from Zachariah Sitchin is online. Somebody has it on their website. And because he says that that's the, the, the uh, translation of the Superior Tablets, I wanted to read them and become, like, learn them and talk, you know, and have an idea about them. Um, yeah, I have a lot to say about that. Like, I guess, I guess he's the only person who can translate Sumerian and nobody's gotten around to learning Sumerian and translating it. So we all have to, for the time being, <sighs> just trust him of whatever he said. So I'll just read it and I'll interpret it, you know, try to believe it and interpret it based on whether it was true. And then if I, and then interpret it based on whether or not I don't believe it and how, what, how I think he would have mistranslated it. I don't know. So, um, so, uh, just how it fits into your worldview. Because I don't like the idea of kings out there. Like a king format. Only out there with spaceships. It kind of reminds me of L. Ron Howard. That movie. <laughs> like, you know, movies about Star Wars. And, you know, I, I, I picture spacefaring uh, planets as being more peaceful. And, like democratic egalitarian and not kingdom so maybe he maybe he was talking about something else so anyways i'll read it and try to plug it into my worldview and talk about it in my timeline stuff but so i wanted that on my website and then i also wanted um um because you know if apparently there's um tablets that are big enough to make a book that big then there's something written there. And if Zachariah Sitchin got it wrong, maybe somebody else can get it right. And I want to know what that says. So from the time being, I'll put Zachariah Sitchin on there. The other book I want to put up is um, Montesquieu, um, Spirit of the Laws, because he's there's so many different small um, chapters in that book. I love books that have zillions of little chapters because... You can then go and surgically pick whatever you want to listen to at that moment and makes books really interesting and uh, good for reading over and over again and trying to learn. And it's a good book, too. He's got all the <laughs> most interesting um, ideas. So and then the other book I want to do is um, I want to do the Trilateral Commission in the 70s. A bunch of the rich people, the oligarchs put out their Trilateral Commission and it's their philosophy of the world. So I think. We definitely need to know that so people can read it and and um, interpret it and you know get, bring a response to it and get a dialogue going about uh, 
what you know rich people's idea of a proper world and regular people's idea so um so those three books for now I was thinking, well, maybe I want to get some more Enlightenment books because there's lots of important Enlightenment books. That's my country and came out of the Enlightenment. So I looked at Locke, and Locke's letter concerning toleration wasn't very big. So if there's really small ones, maybe I'll do those. Maybe I'll do some more American ones, like Patrick Henry and stuff. So I don't know, but I originally I wanted to stop at this three. So maybe I'll stop at this three, and I'll be feel good about doing that and be able to get back on my timeline and work on the, the links that get from kingdom to kingdom, forward and backward in time, um, to help with the links with my timeline, and and then do work on the you know the king, <laughs> the horizontal to vertical kings list links again, because that'll get my timeline going up. Yeah, my timeline's not developed enough for me to even want to look at it myself. It's just more of a frustration than something that I could learn history off of. So I want to get it to that level where. I can actually use it for myself. You know, that's the main reason I built my timeline so I could use it for myself and it's not at that level yet. So I want to go at another maybe month, but I'll, you yeah, know, maybe, so I don't know, maybe it'll take me a week to do these three books or more. I don't know. A couple of days. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I was listening to the Indo-Europeans. I, I want to listen to the Indo-European ancient DNA lecture <sighs> over and over and over again so that I can, um, you know, memorize when all this stuff happened and get an idea in my head of how I want to build the maps that, you know, Google Earth maps and the the history timeline and plug all that stuff in and have my own idea about what happened and do, you know, be able to talk about it. So, super interesting. Um, when you try to figure out what happened in the past, you know, based off of writings, ancient writings and what they said, ancient DNA and the archaeology and just kind of put it all together and so, uh, yeah, the, 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 today is the great age of your general Renaissance man type of uh, scholar. <laughs> With the help of my timeline and my Google Earthing, I can turn myself into a really good overall historical, you know, or, overall scholar. So, um, yeah, I keep pushing forward. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I'm making pretty good progress. I really love how this book's looking out. Uh, books look great when they have huge menus. Because you can just, you know, especially when it's on my website, because then you can highlight the menu and just listen to the menu. And then you'll know what it's about, so you want to go and listen to it specifically. So that's enough talking for now. I almost didn't do the video. It's kind of late. Uh, I'll try to do the video tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I can finish these books, maybe tomorrow. Maybe if I power through, I'll finish tomorrow. And then by tomorrow night, I can be back on my timeline again. That'd be awesome, just like a one-day segue with three more books. That'll give me motivation for later on when I'm, when I'm fired up to do some other Enlightenment books and American books. So, yeah. When I really when I listen to a book and I really like it and I'm just like wow this is an amazing book I gotta listen to this again, what did he say about that you know, then I I, I feel like I should get it on my uh, my website. Um, there's another era age of kind of enlightenment of books I might want to eventually, one day put on my website which would be, <laughs> the Arab the um, Persian philosophers from the 1100s before they got taken over by the Mongols. Um, yeah, the, the like Persian, Arab Persian Muslim philosophers um, from Baghdad, like Abyssinia and those guys. Um, they were the, a lot of those guys actually translated the Greek philosophers and then in English we translated it from Arabic into English. So if it hadn't have been for the Arabics in between the uh, the Greek books would have been lost by now. I, I don't know which books those were. I want to find out, research it, and find out which books. Maybe I'll put it on my website, but I'm pretty sure there were some, so yeah, I'll have to research that. But um, but yeah, so they're an integral part, and um, and I think there were even maybe some, yeah, I don't know, in the Middle Ages, some good writers from the Middle East and stuff. But that'll be, I mean, Spain and stuff, but that'll be later. For now, I'll just get these three, and then tomorrow... Uh, Try to get back on the timeline, get that timeline going again, and do the uh, build up a timeline for the uh, after I link the kings timeline for the Indo Europeans, man, and make up a story for that. That'd be amazing. Anyway, not talking almost 10 minutes. Talk to you tomorrow.